اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از اے سیریز آن اسلامک ایتھکس اینڈ وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا سرمن آف امام علی ابن بطالب علیہ السلاۃ والسلام وی ہی ڈسکرائبس ڈفرینٹ کیریکٹرسٹکس دیٹ اے بلیونگ پرسن مسٹ ابزرو اینڈ وی نیڈ ٹو تھنک اباؤٹ دی ورسز آف دا ہولی قرآن اینڈ دی ورڈس آف دی انفیلیبلز علیہ السلام ٹو ریفلیکٹ ریفلیکٹ اپون اینڈ ٹو abide by and to adapt in our life and we must improve our uh, our life through good ethics and quality um, uh, characteristics so today we are going to be talking about one of the characteristics where imam ali ibn talib alayhi salam says whoever uh, jokes excessively um, is not taken seriously Um, or his position is decreased in the eyes of the people who associate with that person. So we need to, you know, everything needs to be uh, balanced and um, joking too much may lead to people not taking you serious. So we have to make sure that uh, our life is balanced and we don't joke excessively, we don't joke Uh, in a way that we're always laughing and we so no one takes us serious because they think that he is a joker he is a person who's not serious and uh, in another hadith imam hasan mushtaba al-islam says that uh, if you want to be respected then don't joke with people and if you want uh, um, your position to be strong or uh, honored then don't joke at all now <clears throat> having a good sense of humor is a gift of god Um, and um, if a person who is pleasant and smiling, they are liked in Islam. Uh, the Holy Prophet uh, used to always smile. And the Imams, alayhi salam, they were always smiling. Uh, <clears throat> but if a person is joking too much, then that is other than just being pleasant. A good sense of humor is good, but you should not be um, out of control when you are joking. And sometimes there is a hijab. Um, of the tongue that should be uh, uh, practiced or that should be observed. <clears throat> There is a hijab of everything. Your eyes, hijab means uh, that you uh, not only just cover your body, but you cover um, your listening, you cover your eyes, you cover your tongue, you do not say. Cover means that you don't say certain things that may... Um, Uh, that may lead to uh, hurting or disbelief or, uh, you know, so you, you control yourself in what you say. Likewise, one of the things that a person should observe is you don't say things in a joking way that are out of the uh, honor and respect of a believing person. And one of the other things that even there are things which are Uh, not uh, uh, out of the honor of a believing person, but they are, um, they are excessive. So excessiveness has to be controlled. You know, don't overeat, don't overdrink, don't. So you have to have a balance in life. And likewise, when you are uh, being pleasant with people, it doesn't mean that we cross our limits and we cross our lines. So you have to be kind and nice to the people, make them smile, you make them Um, happy, but don't overdo things. Don't uh, cross your limits that you are joking so much so that just to make people laugh, you are putting yourself down. You are belittling yourself and that is disliked. Now, <clears throat> when we say um, excessive, uh, how, who defines what is excessive? Uh, well, the society, the people, you yourself need to watch would you like certain things in certain people for example when you see others you see them joke too much sometimes you become um, uh, you feel that you know it is uh, a dislike towards them or you uh, become uh, uh, um, that you want a distance from this person you want some gap from this person and that should not happen with you a moment should control themselves and should Uh, maintain their own respect. They should maintain their own uh, dignity. 
Uh, dignity also means that one person should not um, use certain words when they're joking uh, that uh, uh, makes other people think low, less of them. One of the other things one should realize that certain jokes are uh, sometimes uh, discrimination and discrimination is uh, not Islamic. So therefore one should abstain from any jokes which are discriminatory that oh so and so people so and so race that's how they are you know so, so there are jokes about certain groups um, about certain nations so those are not encouraged uh, and likewise there are uh, jokes which are not just discri discriminatory but they are racist uh, there are stereotypes in certain jokes that so and so people are fools or they don't think right um, so there are different types of jokes and it makes people think about you, how you think and how you are. So therefore you should abstain from certain types of jokes. Uh, another thing that to be avoided when you're, when you're saying a joke to someone is that it should not um, describe the pain of certain other people. So you are, that you're laughing at someone else's pain, at, at the cost of someone else's uh, respect or uh, dignity. Many times we are picking on other people, we are bullying them by joking about them or by mockery and that's very much disliked. They would be disrespected and they would feel bad about you that you are saying jokes about them or you are making mockery of them, you know. Uh, ridiculing other people is very much disliked in Islam. You don't ridicule other people. That if a person is weak or small then you say so much about them because they can't answer back that they feel ridiculed and they feel disrespected and that's not Islamic. That's very, uh, in fact, uh, a bullying behavior and an evil behavior. We have to maintain respect in every uh, way of life. And uh, maintaining respect means that we should not uh, ridicule nations, groups of people, races, um, uh, you know, certain uh, professions sometimes, you know, are ridiculed. Um, so no one should be ridiculed for uh, who they are or how they've been created because by ridiculing a nation or a race or uh, a profession or uh, a group, what you are uh, uh, basically ridiculing is the creation of God. You're saying that, oh, so-and-so people, Allah, that's how God made them. So you're ridiculing God by saying that, you know, so-and-so people are uh, less intelligent or less wise. And we see that all the time happening. And it's also analogy. It's basically qiyas or fiqh. That uh, one person from so-and-so race on so-and-so um, um, background or ethnicity uh, or um, uh, language uh, speaking person was uh, like this and the rest of them are like that as well. So uh, Imam Ali al-Islam is saying that too much uh, joking, excessive joking um, puts your position down, it makes you less favorable and it makes you uh, less liked uh, and secondly certain types of jokes are uh, not even allowed and certain types of jokes are an Islamic and certain types of words that we may use may be an Islamic. So therefore we should abstain from saying certain things anyway and if we are saying something which is uh, Islamic but we are overdoing it, we are saying it excessively, then again it may not be liked. Um, in the last part of this uh, uh, session we would like to say that uh, sometimes we are um, uh, joking with people uh, but what we're doing is that we are pointing to the others that are present uh, in our in our jokes or in our um, so what we're doing is we are uh, being sarcastic we are uh, so sarcasm is not liked very much uh, and people become um, uh, distant from the people who are always being sarcastic because sometimes words we use 
may be uh, offensive and they may be disrespectful to many people. But we make a habit of saying certain things and, uh, um, uh, and they are not liked. Many times a wise way of doing things is saying something in a joking way. You are serious but you don't say it in a serious mood and you don't say it in a serious way. But you say the truth in a joking way. Uh, that is light, that is good. So you have said it to the person um, in a respectful way, but in a joking way you say to them the truth. You want to say it and you don't know how to do it respectfully, so you just say a joke about it. Um, but obviously, if they are wise and they are intelligent, they will pick up uh, the point that you have indicated uh, in your joke that this is what they should be. So the method of Anbiya is that they usually say a story, like the Holy Quran says a story. And in that story there is a lesson. So you sometimes say a story to a person and the story has a lesson for that person in that story. And that's the best way of, of doing it. So it is a respectful way and it is a positive way of doing things. So we thank you all for um, for understanding that it is a um, best manner not to joke too much and if you do joke too much then don't be offensive to others and disrespectful to certain uh, groups or creeds. Uh, inshallah all of the younger audience will learn to joke but not excessively and with not words which are uh, un-Islamic uh, in a respectful way. So we ask you all to, inshallah, abide by the Islamic teachings and Islamic ethics. Thank you very much for listening.